so the seat folds down. And then if you push and lift, and it folds up. But what I found out yesterday is that there are a couple of tabs in here. This bar right here, it actually loops in. So when you squeeze it, do it on the side. It releases from the front. See that down there? So if you do both, then you can actually take this out. Just kind of rock it backwards. Look at that. Just folds out, you can put it in your garage, and you've effectively doubled your storage. Took 30 seconds, as long as you have a place to put it. And that's it. Um, I bought a TV recently, and it's a 55, and I was worried that it wouldn't fit in here. And so all I did was slide up the front seat towards the front and slid the box in diagonally and it fit perfectly. But if you don't have any kids and you want extra storage, just take the back seat out. You don't have to get rid of it. It just clips out and you can always clip it back in. It just goes in the same way that you took it out. A little, uh, little hack for today. That is a ton of extra room. So cargo room with the seats in is, oh, look at all that. So the cargo room with the seats in is 17.2 cubic feet. Um, and like I said, if we're doubling that, then it's easily 30 cubic feet, um, which is a lot of space. And like I said, if you don't have kids, then that's fine. And I don't, I have a small dog. He's 14 pounds, his name's Cusco. Put up a little picture. Um, but yeah, that is a little cool hack. I didn't know that until yesterday. I thought that was really cool. Um, Pulled up a quick YouTube video and figured it out and I figured I would make one, so here we go.